Hi, how are you all? Hi guys. Sorry, we're gonna have a... <laughs> yes. No, it's not my bedtime, it'll be your guys' bedtime soon. So, hi guys, how's it going? I thought I would come on and have a play with some of my favourites at the moment, which are also new products. Yes. If you're quiet. Let's see how that goes. Alright guys, so we've had... Uh, three products um, come out. We've had lots of different products to be <laughs> fair, but we have had three products come out that I personally love. I, I, I mean, I really, really love these products. Um, surprisingly, um, given that you can get attached to some products, being me, and then you find another product that comes along and you are just wowed. Just wowed. Totally wowed. I don't need that right now. So I thought, um, whilst I get myself prepared to um, go out tonight, I thought I would get myself sorted with some of my favourite products. And given that, well, this face certainly needs a little bit of TLC because the last couple of days have been a little bit hard on the old skin. Uh, I thought, why not just give it a little bit of pampering as well? So you all know how to you all know how to pamper your skin. You all know how to get your <laughs> your skin prepped. So we have we have the normal primer, which mm -hmm. is what I have been using for the last three years, four years, for prepping your face with your foundation. Mommy, I'm gonna just bring it in here too. No. Oh. So yeah, the primer. The primer is amazing. We all know how amazing the primer is. I don't have to. I don't have to shout from the rooftops because you all know exactly how wonderful that is. <laughs> Until so, we brought out the hydrating face primer. This hydrating face primer has a slightly more liquid of a uh, liquid of a tendency on your skin than the cream primer does goes on and it it hydrates your skin the application is different it just pulls off like so and it's a it's a pump i think it's it's just as useful as the squeezy one with our with our primer here just just as it um the the way it applies the way you put it on your hand it's 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 not really any different but it, it's kind of dinky feels a little more salt right so i've been using between one and two sprays or splurts on my hand because that pretty much is enough to do my face that is enough to do my face but given that my hair recently i've been doing another splurt and that has been going on my hair because it makes my hair shiny let me look behind you i can see her in the camera Hello. so given that we've got a splurt here I'm going to, and this is like, this is far more of a liquidy kind of consistency than what your, what, what our normal primer is. But guys, this goes on just so nicely, hydrating your skin. Now we all know what hydration does to your skin. It boosts up your skin cells. My and means sing, my hey, sing. hey, my sing. Bad. If you're gonna continue to talk, see you later. Mommy, did you hear? I said see you later. My mommy. Oh, bless my children, but crikey. So, with the with the application of this one here, exactly the same. Just just leave it for like two to five minutes, depending on what you're doing. And it will uplift and minimize and wrink uh, minimize your wrinkles and do all that good stuff that this one here does, just with the additional feature of hydrating your skin. Really good for oily skin. Seriously, child. Really good for hydrating your skin, dry skin, oily skin. Or maybe even like a really hard day. 
outside and you feel like your skin's just really dry and, and needs a little bit of hydration. Really, really cool. So once that once it does what it's needed to do and, and soaks in and all that fun stuff, then you can go into your foundation. Uh, we all have our favorite types of foundation, which is fine, which is called bananas. Cool bananas, but naturally you know what I'm going to because you can hear it. So I did a video on the on Q Lash. Okay, you're about to be told to see you later because you're just not being very helpful right now, yeah? Yeah, and you know it. So this wee baby here is in a spray bottle. It is an aerosol, so when you're ordering this, it's not going to come by air, it's going to come by land. So it might take a little bit longer to get here. You do not need, you, you don't really need um, concealer with this. Unless you've got like really like kind of big ass circles like myself. And a bruise from a car. Can you see that? Can you see that like that? I seriously got nailed by the car. Seriously got nailed by the car like. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Woof. That's bad. So this kabuki brush. This kabuki brush came out when mom needs us. Probably kabuki. about four to five months now. Uh this is a this is a really good applicator for popping on your popping on your foundation. This was my go-to initially. I've got like two of them. Uh you can then, obviously do foundation one side, then, concealer on this side. But I have I, I I do enjoy this one as well. Once I've put on my foundation, generally I go into like one of the the bronzers just to touch it up, and yeah, this this does really really well. So once you've given that a bit of a shake up, I have personally experienced spraying it onto the brush. Good to apply to your face. Um, you do still have the the slight spray off with the with the brush there, like on the on the edge there. Um, but I kind of just do this now, just kind of kind of stick it around your face like that. Liam, go now. Right, on your face, and just dab in. I got told the word was stipple. It made me feel like I was using fancy, fancy English. And you can see the areas that I had initially started with on my face, just where I had dabbed. And you can see just how much coverage this is giving me on my face. That's what I've been so excited about and impressed by with this foundation is just the coverage. You seriously don't need a lot on. Um, this, so this spray foundation is in the kudos this month. You, you pretty much get this free along with your choice of primers. Your choice of concealers, wherever that's bucket off to, uh, and your choice of, let me remember what's on my thing, primer, foundation, concealer, yeah, it's like, it's like a pick and choose, oh, and foundation, um, so you get to pick and choose what you like, it is always good to have a concealer on hand, because if you do have tattoos and you need to conceal then concealing is best i i don't even know why i did that i do, i don't even know why i did that i just seriously didn't even need it i'm just so used to doing like a brush up touch up and the eyes look like pale face and i can actually take that down my neck but that like <sighs> guys <laughs> the coverage just even more amazing and awesome. Oh, I've got a mirror behind me. Haha, uh -huh. well, not behind me, in front of me. So that coverage. Now, being that I use Velour for my winter, 
this is velour and that color matching compared to the liquid foundation is dang near perfect like my skin it has you don't even see my flaws not that i have many flaws anymore which was pretty cool so this does come in additional shades just have a look and see what you would have thought you were initially and then you can go in between the in-betweens uh, i can also you i can also wear lace uh, which is one of the newer colors if you're not quite sure what colors just get in touch and we can color match you so that there is a covered face like serially covered face really awesome now the other one that i really do love but I do, I do have to do my brows before I do it because otherwise it just makes me feel like I'm... So it's like a part of my face that I forget and it's ideally not ideal. Because I do find that my brows get covered by the foundation and look a little bit pale, like they don't exist on my face. So I just tend to give them a bit of a, a brushing up, like legit brushing up. Right, so using your same Kabuki brush... Let's just give, my, just give myself a little bit of colour. A little bit of colour. We are coming up into summer. So it would be nice to have a little bit of colour on my face. So that I'm not like beach tan. Well, well, sorry. White. So just popping into this one here. This isn't one I was going to show you though. This is just, just giving myself a wee healthy glow. You really want to make sure that you are in good lighting when you apply this because if you are in bad lighting and you can't see what you're doing, you're only going to apply a really dark, dark application and look like you've just come back from like Rarotonga or Samoa. Like legit, that's exactly what you'll look like. I went to a birthday party in Pukekohe, uh maybe a week or so will go now and I used my bronzer in a bathroom that had very poor lighting and at the end of the day because naturally I thought you know I know how to apply my makeup I'm you know I'm good uh because I wasn't able to see given the light situation when I got home at the end of the day from Book of Kaui and had a look at myself in the mirror I looked like I had come back from some tropical island and looked I looked amazing. I looked tanned and beautiful, but the uh, the neck didn't match the face, and I was just like, "Whoa! Could you not have told me I looked like I had a mask on?" Like, it was really funny. It was really funny because I, I had done the application beautifully. It was just not to the season. There you go. So, giving myself a nice wee cover. Now, this little baby here, guys, you will have seen me go on and on and on and on and on about this. This is a really, this is an amazing, amazing product. It's one step, which is fantastic because you don't have to worry about your two-step anymore. The formula has the fibres in it. Given you a few tips on this one here. Given that the wand, the brush wand, has, it's like multi-layers long and short bristles which means it can hold a lot more content on the bristles than normal so what you want to do is scrape your wand first getting off all of the basically getting off all the product as as you can because you're still left with a lot of product happening on the wand and you're going to be able to tell that when you stick it on your lash and because, the, because of the type of wand that it is, it's going to give your lashes a little bit of a curl, which is ideal. Because then if you've got straight lashes like I have, they're just going to poke straight out rather than go upwards. So if you're one of those ladies like me that has to use one of those lash doodah curler thingamajigs, this is kind of a good, cool idea. Because then you, the, the length of your lash will actually go up and you won't feel like you're going straight out. So when you're applying less is more that way you're not going to end up with clumps of mascara on your lash you're going to just get a coat on your lash and then once it dries you're going to be able to if you wish to give your lash a second coat and concentrate on the tips giving you length 
Can you see? Can can you can can you did did you just see that? Like there's a lash like right there. What's that? There's nothing because you can't see it because there's st still foundation on it. Can you see that? Like lashes. Let's just shimmy some of that on the base of that. see them lashes oh now tip for them short lashed ladies there are a couple of products you can use to love your lashes not only conditioning them but will promote length for your itty bitty lashes itty bitty lash committee just reminded myself of my father just then so Whilst we're talking about lash length, let's talk about two products real quick because I don't want to bore you with facts. This may be the application if I can find the second one. If I can find the second one. Yes, right. So, I have been blessed with longish lashes which you can tell because I just put one coat on my eyelashes and they are there they're there you can see them you can see them like don't check them out like stick it out you it's not gonna poke you in the face when I talk to you just just joking let's talk about real quick how to promote the length and conditioning of your lashes like Da, da, da. What is this? Esteem Lash Serum. <laughs> this stuff here is really amazing at night times when you want to just relax. It's the best time for you to do serums and products and that type of a thing when your face, uh, when your body is in a, in a rested, relaxed state. Use this at night times serum and wake up in the morning and con well continue to use it because it's going to take between maybe three five weeks or four to six weeks depending on the results that you want and your the like your, your lash growth like everyone has a hair growth uh cycle that's the word i'm looking for so much like when you when you do your hair blue and then you, I think I've, I think it's been like maybe two, maybe three weeks, I'm unsure. And then you start getting regrowth. It's going to be the same as your eyebrows. Your eyebrows is going to start growing at the same time as all your other hair starts growing. So you were going to, re, you're going to notice that when you start to, when your hair starts to grow, so when your lashes start to grow or your eyebrows start to grow, and this is growing, the condition of your lashes are going to be stronger, more luscious, more lengthy. As well as when you use this baby here. Everybody knows that this is my go-to. This is what helped my face four years ago when I had all the pigmentation happening on my face. Everybody has seen the amazing product results of this. Got squirreling in it. You can, I mean, I, I bathe my face in this, literally. I bathe my face in this. I, I it's not just like a you know little dabs underneath the eyes. I stick this stuff all over my face. Dang, yes, yes. That, that's just all I'll say about that. So once you are putting, popping all that lusciousness on your lashes and your eyebrows and your hair to encourage the condition and the condition. Conditioning the strength, the length of your hair in conjunction with your hair cycle. You are going to notice that your hair is stronger and lengthier. I could have just said that, I, I guess. I, I could have, maybe. It's just not as fun to say it like that. It makes me sound boring <laughs> and I'm not that. Right. Next lash. 
It's probably why I have such an issue with my eyebrows because they just grow and grow and grow and because they are never growing the same as the other one I always end up with eyebrows different and I have a wee What are you doing on the corner there? <laughs> just freaked me out <laughs> Sounds like my eldest is home from a hard oh, day at work Yes, yes. There we go. Them some lashes. Them is some lashes. Now remember, once you've coated all of your lashes from the base to tip, thank you. That's alive. Not not my wife. <laughs> then once it dries, if you wish to and if you wish to work on the length or the volume, then you've got the opportunity to go in the second time. I don't choose to do the volume because I've already got it there once I've applied my first application. But I do, sometimes depending on what I'm doing and where I'm going, I will go in and work on my length again. What am I doing tonight? I'm apparently going to a movie. So I'm just going to coat my lashes just so that I know that they're on my face. Don't need to work on the length because it's going to be dark and no one else is going to see me except for myself knowing that I look the bomb. Sorry, it just popped out. And voila. lashes now remember once you've gone and scraped all the top of like everything that's off the wand into there you're gonna have like a build up on the top there what I do is just grab the top of the wand give it a real big massive scoop and then plug it back in voila done done like exciting done done and then of course if you want to go into lippies or eyeshadows or uh, anything along those lines depending on obviously what you're wearing or the colors or if your favorite color or your go-to's or anything along those lines then that's what you get to do hmm what do i want to do maybe a hot pink maybe a hot pink maybe a hot pink now here's a good tip when taking off your makeup at night really good tip oh i might end up doing a halloween look if i continue talking oh. see uh -uh. Uh -uh. note to self don't talk while putting on bright pink lippy Ah. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, yes, right. End of the night comes and you want to take off. You're going to take off your makeup. Some tips on taking off your makeup. Which is... The, 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 the features and the benefits of taking off your makeup again we have a couple of options depending on if you're working with a water-based or oil-based makeup so your your 4d mascara is water resistant so you can take this off with like the likes of a like the likes of a shine cloth you can take it off with the with the shine cloths because it's it, it's not waterproof it is water resistant which means you can rub and rub and rub and rub and rub and the will start cutting off another go-to that i do use most regularly in fact is the stick the cleansing stick this is an oil based and you can oh you can you can tell it's like fully thrashed you can tell it's like fully thrashed so this one here is a very good uh makeup 
stick makeup remover it goes on very nicely i almost touched that with my face that would have scared me for just a moment that would have been a redo uh to take off oil based makeup so if you are if oil based makeup no yes hang on i'm confused give me two seconds to think about that if you're if if you're using makeup that is oil based you can't take it off with an oil base you have to take it off with a water base if you're using something that is water based or water like water water resistant waterproof you need an oil base to take it off that's the one i'm looking for sorry my brain just kind of went let's try and see if we can rev that stuff up so be aware of what makeup bases you're using if you're using a water water base makeup then you can take it off with i've confused myself again we'll just stop talking about that but but i know what i'm talking about in my head i'm just trying to get We'll, we'll revisit that situation later but i use my cleansing stick when i'm removing my makeup at night because it removes my uh removes my 4d mascara really really well and then once i like i'll do like a little zhuzhi on my face and then i'll take it off but i um i'll finish off my face with this you can see because it's like almost flat um i will pamper my face with the shine cloths afterwards because everybody knows it's got lots of lovely minerals in it and, and and it's like a it's like a spa for your face afterwards so yes between the hydrating primer the 40 mascara and the spray like i'm a pretty happy kiwi we're, we're coming out with some pretty epic products which is which is pretty cool because that means that I'm getting oh, well, it just looks like I'm 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 looking pretty happy with myself, just to be fair. Alrighty, ladies and boys, I will catch you all later. Bye.